Hello, and welcome to the Acumold Virtual Trade Show. We're glad you're here. We know there's not a whole lot of travel going on these days, and conferences and trade shows have been postponed, but that doesn't mean innovation has to stop. We thought we'd take a quick minute and share with you a little bit about Acumold and the real power of micro-injection molding. Acumold began in 1985 with an idea that there had to be a better way to make small, high-precision molded components than with the systems that were available on the market those days. The team built what we believe was the first system totally dedicated to micro-injection molding. We started in micro, we've stayed in micro, and today we help companies all over the world push the limits when it comes to micro-injection molding. So what exactly is micro-injection molding? We kind of define it in one of three ways, micro in size, micro in features, or micro in tolerances. In a lot of cases, it's all three. Here, let me show you a few examples of what I mean. So certainly size is a key component when you're defining micro-injection molding. Here's one example, one of the smallest commercial parts that we're allowed to show. It's only 800 microns at its longest. But it doesn't just have to be micro in size in order to be considered true micro-molding. Here's an example of a larger part that we mold that it's about three and a half inches in diameter, but has micro features to it and some very fine details that the customer required. So it could be larger parts, but have micro features to it that make the product a little bit more difficult. The third way that we define micro injection molding is micro intolerances. These are examples of molded optics. Some of these are little lens arrays with 12, 250 micron diameter A spheres in plus or minus two or three microns in positional tolerances. It's also examples of diffractive optics where some of the features are half micron in size. And not only do you deal with micro tolerances for molded optics, you're also dealing with surface finish and material clarity and the extreme tolerances in order to produce components that will meet the requirements that most optic projects require. So we also do a lot of overmolding and insert molding as well. Here you can see a few examples of lead strip or lead frame overmolding where we're molding plastic in and around metal on a lead strip for all sorts of applications, microelectronics, and other medical device. We also do a lot of automation when it comes to packaging or inspection as well. You can also see a few examples here where we're overmolding flex circuit or little inserts. And in some cases, we've overmolded fabric, we've overmolded glass, a wide variety of delicate media. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us and learning a little bit more about Acumold and micro-injection molding. We'd love to hear from you. If there's something that we could do or a question we could answer, please don't hesitate. You can visit our website or follow the link below to contact us. Thanks again for your time, and we hope to hear from you real soon.